Hi everybody! Welcome to Exploring Food with Smitty. I am back with another recipe and this is an interesting recipe. I ran across this recipe when we were out. Um, we were taking some vacationing days and it's a recipe for spaghetti. But the thing with this recipe is, is you don't cook the spaghetti. You put everything in a baking dish and you put it in the oven and you cook it on 350 for 20 minutes and it cooks your spaghetti. So I thought, hmm, that would be something interesting to try. So what I'm going to do is get my stuff together and I'll be back with you to get started on this video. Okay, so as the young people say, let's get it cracking. So I'm going to add, or do they still even say that? I'm going to add a little bit of uh, olive oil just because I want to saute my vegetables first. Now on the recipe that they made, they didn't do any of this. They just used plain tomato sauce. But I want my spaghetti sauce to have some flavor. So I'm going to saute my vegetables. And like I said, if you're in a hurry, you don't have to do it this way. But just because I love lots of mushrooms. Love the mushrooms I put in. And then I'm gonna add some garlic and some green onion. Salt. And you know what? This is the way I make um, sauce during the um, summertime. I'm going to have to show you that. And what I do is from the tomatoes, I just cook it down, make it, and then I use it to, um, um, what do you call it, to can it. So whenever I need some, I already have it done. So, um, of course, I'm out of it since I'm making them. So, I'm going to put all this in here. Let this meat get brown. Let's put a little salt and pepper. How about that? Of course, my favorite is, say it with me, black beans. Actually, I don't use any other black pepper besides black beans. That's how much I like it. And then I'm going to put a tad bit of salt. Remember, I like the salt in my hands because you can't take it out once it's in there. And I'm just going to let this cook. Now, as I said, when you're making this recipe, it's supposed to be an easy recipe to do. It's gonna, it cuts the cooking time off only because you're not cooking your meat and stuff. On the original recipe, they didn't even put meat. They just used um, tomato sauce. But me, got to have meat in my spaghetti. So I'm going to get this all cooked and um, ready to be put into my pan. And I'll be back with you. Okay, I just wanted you to see I'm adding to my seasoning of my spaghetti sauce. I'm adding some Italian seasoning, which there's a link in the bottom if you'd like to uh, purchase from Watkins. And I'm putting some basil. Really good. I wish I had smell of vision. And then, as I said in the in the in the first in the video they made, they didn't put meat in their in their spaghetti yeah. sauce. They just uh -huh. used um, tomato sauce. But like I said, I like meat in my spaghetti sauce. 
And then if you want, I can add extra garlic or what have you. Okay, as you can see, I put my tomato sauce in. And as I said, in the regular recipe, they didn't add any meat or anything to their sauce. But I have to have some flavor. But I am going to add this ingredient right here, which is Merlot red wine. I'm going to tell you, it makes the difference. So I'm putting in my red wine. And I'm just going to let this simmer. And while it's simmering, I'm going to get all my other stuff together so that we can keep this party going. So I shall return. Okay, so let's get started here. My spaghetti sauce is sizzling. As you can hear it, and I wish you could smell it. It smells so delicious. So what this recipe did is it took the raw spaghetti, and they put it into, they put theirs into a baking dish, but I'm going to just use this dish right here because I just, I think it'll work better for me. But you can use a baking dish. And as I said, you don't have to do all, all of this um, fancy, uh, smancy, making your own spaghetti sauce first or what have, using tomato sauce and all that other stuff. But I, I like, Having, if I'm gonna have spaghetti, I want to have good spaghetti. So, okay. so I have my spaghetti into my dish, and then to that, I'm going to add my spaghetti sauce, which is nice and thick. And I just really wish you could smell this. When I say that the um, wine makes the difference, yes, ma'am, it does. So I'm going to pour all of my spaghetti sauce in here on top of the spaghetti, which I'm probably making this harder than it needs to be, but it's just me. Okay, and to this, I'm going to add a can of water. So what I did is just the tomato sauce can. I did. And then I'm going to stir my spaghetti around so that it mixes with the salt. I mean, with the spite, the uh, water, and the um, other stuff that's in here. Okay, so I have my oven preheated to um, 350 degrees, and I'm going to put this in the oven for 30 minutes. Put the top on it, and I'll be back. Okay, so the timer is just getting ready to go off for the spaghettis and we're going to take them out and we're going to see what they look like. Maybe this is a cool recipe. Okay, the, the uh, alarm just went off. Let's turn that off. Okay, now let's get my pot holders out so we can get the spaghetti out and see what happened. Because this is going to be interesting for me, just like for you. Let's get the pot out. Let's take the top off. Let me put this where you can see. There we go. Okay. So let's stir this around and see just what we got. Oh, it did cook. Very interesting um, concept. And they said to stir the spaghetti around after you got it out. And then what I'm going to do is put it back into the oven for another 10 minutes once I put my cheese on. So let me get this stirred around and I'll be back. Okay, so I am going to take this out of the oven again. What happened was, is I like my pasta al dente, but this was a little bit too al dente for me. So, I'm taking it out again. Yeah, that's a lot better. Because at first it was just too... There we go. Okay, so to this, 
and it looks and it smells really really delicious like i said if you've never put wine in your spaghetti sauce do it it makes a difference so to this what i'm going to do is i'm going to add cheese to it then add your cheese and i'm going to put it back in the oven for an additional 10 minutes we're just giving that cheese time to get all melted and as you can see, I don't play with cheese. I like like my stuff cheesy, cheesy wheezy. Okay, so I'm gonna put this back on, and I'm gonna set my timer for ten minutes. And I'm gonna put it back in the oven. Okay, I'm here standing with my pot holders because this is about to go off, so I'm just going to go ahead and turn it off. And I'm going to take our spaghetti out. And there it is, all ready for consumption. And as I said, this spaghetti, you, you don't have to make your own sauce you can do it the easy way i just made it a little harder than it needed to be but what i'm going to do is let this cool down and then we're going to have a taste of it when it does that so there we go so thank you for joining me today on this channel and also i want you to be on the lookout for a new channel that we're starting and it's called discovering DC and its surrounding areas. And what we're gonna do is if you plan on making a trip back here, it's gonna be the channel that you really wanna see because you're gonna get a chance to see other areas than the monuments. And I have one of the best persons to take you through that walk. He's got a lot of knowledge in that little head and his name is Steve Kelly, who is my husband and he's a, reti a DC retired firefighter. So stay tuned. Log on and go ahead and sign up so when the first video drops, you'll already be notified for it. But we have a lot of cool videos. Uh, I think we've already done a tour of Howard University. We have some um, Chesapeake Bay videos. And then we're going to be doing a video where we're going to be showing you how to take the subway when you get here. If you don't have a rental car because I tell you, it's one of the best transit systems to me to get around with. So... We'll see you then, and thanks for watching.